Brad, I spoke to several members of the Little Village Community Council today, and they say while they are glad to see that CPD moved quickly and found the people responsible for Melissa Ortega's death, they say those arrests are simply not enough. This community is traumatized by violence, and the council president asked today what happens after the trauma. This community is still deep in mourning, but already advocating for change. The council is pushing for more mental health resources that could not only address the compounding effects of being surrounded by violence, but also to help those who may be prone to expressing their anger through violence to find ways to cope. Also, the council says they're already reaching out to CPD, demanding a plan for how the department will keep Little Village safe, especially in the summer. The president believes building a more trusting relationship with community-based officers could help. But still, Chela Garcia, who's part of the council, says as a mother, she knows nothing will ever be enough to bring back Melissa. I doubt that her mother will feel some type of satisfaction from uh, them being arrested, prosecuted, and put into jail. It's just never going to happen because that li loss of life is so tremendous. The hope that came with whatever her life was going to live is going to be a hole that is so big and that it, nothing will be ever, ever able to fill it or replace her. I spoke to Melissa's uncle this morning and he said the family was going to hold a funeral for the eight year old today and that the family plans to travel to Mexico next week to lay the eight year old to rest in her hometown. Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News. Jackie, thank you. Remember when news breaks like today's rest, you can see it first on our website, cbschicago.com.